and making my optic nerves burst, which is why I went blind. I weighed 315 pounds. So, uh, so that's what it finally was for me, was when someone tells you you're going to go blind if you don't lose weight, I said, okay. There's a lot of body issues that go on when you start losing weight. The hardest thing for me has been accepting my body because I can't see it. I don't notice the change. I look in the mirror and I still see 315. And I don't know how long that's going to be the case. So I'm hoping as I evolve, which I am, that eventually I'll be able to look into the mirror and be happy. Please welcome Jesse to the show. You two know each other, obviously. We do. How right? long well, have you known each other? Let's go back and tell me about um, it. We met. Uh, what you have to before you have the surgery, you have to kind of go through a group therapy, which is wonderful. And I met Jackie there, mm -hmm. and we had surgery about the same time because yeah. I had my surgery April twenty second. And I don't know if the numbers matter, but it helps. How much have you lost so far? One hundred and five pounds. One hundred and five pounds. <laughs> Talk a little bit, even though it was on the tape. Let's back up again. You started having blurred vision, and that's because of what? What? This is kind of an anomaly that is really with most people who are overweight, correct? Yes, okay. it's, um, what it was basically was that I started to have really bad headaches and my back and my neck started to spasm and I couldn't stand, I couldn't walk around and it terrified my parents and uh, then I stopped being able to eat or drink and I started throwing up bile yeah. and, uh -huh. uh, and then basically stopped being able to see. And then this is caused by too much, fluid? Too much pressure on the spine, which mm -hmm. weight, excess mm -hmm. weight, um, it just, it was just too much for my body to handle and I had too much spinal fluid gotten into my head, made my optic nerves burst and I lost my sight. Fortunately that's back. Yeah, pretty much, okay. pretty much. But, but now, <clears throat> you have also addressed the fact that now the weight's coming off, but what do you see when you look in the mirror yourself? You know, it's really hard because I don't see, I don't know what I see. Um, 105 pounds is a person. That's a whole, yeah. I know people who are 105 pounds. You lost Paris Hilton. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. With, with, three, um, with three hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> Eat a cheeseburger. Oh no, Paris Hilton was right here. Yeah, she was my yeah. thigh. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I did, it's, it's just so strange to try and think of your body as as not that anymore. Mm -hmm. And I look at the yearbook pictures. Mm -hmm. um, when you see this is, picture, uh, right here. you see this picture right here of yourself. That was right after graduation. Yeah. So that, that was probably about 280. Oh God, that's like eighth grade. <laughs> you are uh, so cute. But when, but when you yeah. look back and you see these pictures of yourself, do you know that's you? you, you I, I know that's me. Register? It's, it's actually, that's, that's what I see as being me. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I still see now. So you can't see where I don't see a headed. difference. So what do you see? I there, absolutely Jackie? don't you see a saw, difference. But see, here's the thing about it, and this is what I... Here I go, and I'm not just trying to blow you up, but from the first day I'm I met this woman, first day I met this woman, I will tell you, I don't... I, who do you see yourself as? Because Do you see Jackie? Because the person is the same person. Because she worked so hard at this before she decided to work at that. Yeah, I mean, I think that... You know, I'm not making a joke, but I have, I think I sort of suffered from the opposite of anorexia because when I was at my biggest, I looked in the mirror, you know, I remember like getting out of the shower, literally, and looking in the mirror and going, it's all good. Sorry. You know, I mean, really seriously, like going places and going, I have so got it on. I mean, you know, got it going on. And I think that what happens is, like what's happening with Jesse is that as you start to lose weight, you actually, and for somebody who's never sat in, it walked in our shoes or sat in this chair, you know, um, you disconnect from your body. You live from the neck up and from the ankles down. So it's all about the shoes and the lip gloss and the accessories, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Right. And then for the first time, I mean, I look at that picture and I can tell you that night, I seriously, seriously walked out of the door going, if I am not the finest woman here, then my name is not Jackie Guerra. You know, as you start to lose weight, you start to connect with your body and you start to see, right, like the shape of your legs yeah. for the first time and a little bit of a waist and suddenly you're in the game. And now you got this thing from your neck to your ankles 
that you've been ignoring for, in her case, 16 years, you know, that you're getting to know for the first time. This is a girl who used to live in big, baggy clothes. And one of the things that I, I find remarkable about her, and she's being very modest, is that how brave must she have been at, six, at 17 years old to go through that illness and go through that scare and say, you know what? At 17 years old, I am going to make a commitment to myself that For lasts the rest my, of my life. Amen. Absolutely. Got to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Do you have a young teen daughter who has a great body but is still constantly teased or bullied because of the way she looks? If so, call us at 1 800 Montel 2. That's 1 800 Montel 2. Closed captioning provided by... Attention workers in the petroleum, rubber making and printing industries. Benzene is now known to cause leukemia and other forms of cancer. If you've been diagnosed with leukemia, call 1-800-LAW-FIRM now. Promotional consideration provided by the following. Can you imagine? Eggland's best eggs have so many healthy benefits. And taste great. That's why we only buy EBs. Try Eggland's best eggs. Attention asbestos workers. Were you diagnosed with mesothelioma? Call 1-800-LAW-FIRM now. That's 1-800-LAW-FIRM. Well, our next guest says that her 100 pound weight loss hasn't made her feel any better about herself. Take a look at this. The real weight came after I had my little girl. And I was a single mom. I didn't have a job. I had nowhere to go, and my parents let me move back in with them, which was hard for me. Feeling like a failure in my life, I chose to eat. By the age of 29, I weighed 295 pounds. I would look in the mirror and just cry. My weight uh, prevented me from actually going to just the park and playing with my daughter. I couldn't do anything with her without getting out of breath. Keeping up with a four-year-old is very tough. I chose really not to ever look at myself until I came up to New York and visited my sister. We took a trip to the Bronx Zoo, which she videotaped. She sent us a copy and I watched. I saw how the world looked at me. It made me realize that I needed to lose the weight. For the simple fact, really the main reason is I have a daughter that I want to live for. I lost weight by um, just watching everything that I ate. I started 
walking like every other day, if not every day, no junk food. Even after losing the 95 pounds, I still am very disappointed in the way that I look. To me, when I look in the mirror, I'm still fat. I hope that when my daughter grows up, she doesn't face the issues that I have in my life. I hope she has a better life than me. Please welcome Melissa to the show. Jesse, talk to us for a second, though. You know what I mean? You have, you have already lost how much weight? Ninety-five pounds. Ninety-five pounds on your own. Yes. You did that concentrating on eating, dieting, or exercise? I'm sorry. You You did that concentrating on what you're um, eating? I just watched everything I ate, mm -hmm. and I walked, and just I really had to watch everything I ate, mm -hmm. everything, and um, just exercised. But now you've lost, like was said earlier, almost another person. Yeah. And what's the matter? How come we're still hiding? Uh, because I still look at myself and see that, like the video that I just saw. I looked at myself and I still see the 295-pound Melissa. You said, I want my daughter to have her mother. And I, if you love her enough to do what you've gone through, then you've got to love her enough to give her a mother who loves herself. Your daughter deserves to have that. Absolutely. I don't want you to applaud until you believe it because you are a beautiful, phenomenal, accomplished woman. Look at what you've pulled yourself up out of. You didn't have a place to live. You're living with your parents. You don't have a job. You're 300 pounds and you go, you know what? I'm going to give more to my daughter. I'm going to do better. And you did. That is what you need to walk around with every single day. Like, Hello world, it's me, Melissa. <laughs> Lost 95 pounds raising a daughter by myself, and I rock! There you go. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, our next guest specializes in body image problems in young women. She's the author of the book, Change Your Mind, Change Your Body. Please welcome Dr. Ann Carney Cook to the show. Thank you, Dr. Cook, for being here. The way Melissa feels right now, though, is not, she needs to understand that's not that un abnormal that's not unusual most people who go through these phenomenal fast weight loss periods it takes you a minute to even walk by a mirror and see yourself right it is not unusual when you lose weight that your body image is behind your body has changed but your body image is behind and I think it's important when that when you've done that that you do some exercises to help you begin to see what your body really looks like now like, for instance, I suggest with patients who've lost a lot of weight that they spend about 15 minutes a night looking into a, a full-length mirror um, because one of the things we know is that the part of the body that we are most comfortable with is our face. Not because our face looks like the models on every magazine cover, but because we get used to looking at our face. And so looking at your body and also, if it's too much to look at your whole body, take a small pocket mirror and look at parts of your body. But it is time to get to know your body as it is right now. Let me just, let me take a break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about that. The book is called Change Your Mind, Change Your Body. We're going to talk a lot more about it when we come back. Taking a break, we'll come back. We'll meet a 15-year-old who was afraid she wouldn't make it to her 30th birthday if she didn't lose some weight. Take a break. We'll be back right after this.